hello everybody welcome to our new video uh today we're going to show you how to get a uh, windows windows 10 free uh what you're gonna do is gonna be you know something hectic or something different what you do you go to get your go to your browser please guys don't forget to subscribe uh you go dot com go to your browser then after you type in w, w, windows windows 10 download say okay you're gonna see don't download from any site look at the site microsoft site it's microsoft.com uh it's gonna come the first one on google you click okay after clicking that i'm gonna show you windows 10 disk image iso file so you scroll down you select windows 10 then you confirm after confirmation it's gonna give you another text then you choose english or you can select any other language you need me i need english and uh, you confirm after confirmation it will show you you want a 32-bit or a 64-bit so what's the difference between a 32-bit and 64-bit so you're gonna get into that look at what you need to to use i'll go for 64 but you don't go for what i go for go for what you want to go for so now the problem this one is bigger than what the memory stick i have my memory stick which i have i want something which i can also write on the cd uh not on the cd i want something which i can uh create a, a bootable on a bootable uh, memory stick my memory stick is a four meg four 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 gig i wouldn't take this i'm gonna cancel that then i said 32 bit yeah this one is good this one is a three 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 gig it's a little bit smaller so i'm gonna take this one but you can take the bigger one i'm taking this one i'm saving this yeah after saving that let me let's wait it's still downloading it's gonna download but depending on how faster your computer is then i'm gonna prepare my stick where i'm gonna write an iso file i'm gonna do that uh it's still downloading my 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 internet is a little bit faster uh then i don't think that should be a problem to download it depends how faster your your internet is uh, i'm gonna do Yes, I'm done with the download. Uh, then, since I'm done with the downloads, I'm gonna put in my memory stick. Then I write it on my, uh, I write it as a bootable disk. Then I go and uh, put it in my, my what? My, I install it on any computer I want to use to install. So, uh, I'm done. It's 3.5 gig. Which is pretty good for me you see if it can fit on the on the four meg on the four gig uh stick okay after that you got your iso but if you have a cd you can write it on a cd no stress uh but me i'm going i prefer to write it on what on the let me see open folder when i open the folder yes this is our iso iso, ISO file it's a free download you got it we got a 32 okay so what's gonna happen you can write the image on the cd you can put it in the cd a dvd it can't fit on the cd dvds are always for um, for gig and stuff so me i'm gonna write it using i'm gonna use Kali linux and uh, i'm gonna write this so 
uh, what I'm gonna do um, I'm going to I'm going to to go to my terminal now you've seen the download so you're gonna see another part of doing what writing so what you're gonna do writing it on the memory stick so what we're gonna do we say f disk minus l we say enter so when we enter we're looking for this you can see this disk this is the disk we're looking for because it's a three point something megabytes so that we're gonna clear because we got the name we copy this name and put it somewhere oh we don't have to clear anyway we have to type in a command there which is gonna help us to to do what to to write what we need to do uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you this command so that you write it on your so that you write the ISO on your memory stick so if you not sudo you should sudo you should say sudo then dd but i'm not going to use dd i'm gonna do that i'm not going to use sudo because i'm sudo already you say dd and uh you say space bs equals to four capital m then you say if uh, then no space to say if equals to downloads because we are in downloads so since we're in downloads we're gonna say equals to we're going to fetch that ISO in downloads uh, we put that here then remember what we're gonna do we're gonna go to our ISO in in downloads then we see where it is uh, we're gonna see what I wanna do is we wanna copy exactly that name so i want to move this here so that you see so very well how how we're gonna do this so we in downloads what you do you 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 right click here you copy this iso or oh, the, the 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 name you close here you come and paste it here this is the the, the what where we're gonna be in downloads then we get this iso for us so after that you're gonna say you're gonna put a space here and they say of uh, then say equals to fat slash um, you get this uh, you get this one copy you you paste uh, you don't do this you you paste that here guys you have to be very careful when you're doing this i'm using this doing linux but you download you can if you're not using a cd if you're using a cd it's easy you can just uh if you're using cd you can use any program on on windows you write your iso but if you're using um a what a what if you're using a um, uh linux and you want to write on a, on a memory stick you just have to use commands you don't need to download any software to do that but on windows sometimes things becomes a little bit hectic so you say status status equals to progress progress then you say space this sign no not the dollar sign two signs those ones space then you say sync so after writing your command you have to go word by word ddbs equals to 4m minus f equals to downloads then you go to that um what you're gonna go to you get that iso and uh then this part you say off then you go to here you don't cause you have to identify your memory stick by what by its size don't forget that you get this part only then you paste it here because you can see i told you it's a 4 gig you can see this and our iso is 3.5 i think it's gonna fit then you say of equals to dev this is the thing you copy here this is the part you copy this part is so very 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 important because if you miss up on there you can wipe out your entire operating system 
then you go space status equals to progress then you say end end sorry about that then sync after that what's next you say enter entering and i see if we can get our windows working running properly so we're writing it on a, on a memory stick After writing it, it's gonna be good. We see how it's gonna work for us. It might take some time, but it's okay. Already one gig is written on the on the on the what on the on the stick. Guys, remember when you, you're downloading this, you have to go to an official site of Microsoft. If you get this ISO somewhere else, you would be you would put yourself in trouble which you don't know. So we remain with the at least another 1.56 gig to be written on the CD, but once to be written on the memory stick. But once it's done, we're gonna. Once it's done, it's gonna give us the feedback that is is done. It's being slow. I'm just praying that uh, all go well because the memory stick, you know, sometimes the ISO is a bit, it's a compressed file. I wonder if I'm writing it on the, it's a 3.5, I'm writing it on a 3.9. I wonder if it's going to fit. But if it fits, good news. If it doesn't fit, I'm sorry. But anyway, that's going to be the steps. But it seems it's working, but... Uh, it's it's it's, it's got, getting doing a little bit uh, it's just being a little bit slow This is a very simple process. The only thing is like, that's why people use Linux a lot. Uh, no, people love Linux, some who use it. Because in some instances, you don't need to download a software to do a task like this. But on Windows, you have to download a software, in most cases, to, to write, a, a, to make a boot up USB. It becomes a little bit a, a challenge sometimes even to get those softwares because those softwares are for sale. They are not for free. They don't come cheap. That's a bad thing about it. It's getting there. It's getting there. We're sitting on one point eight. One more nine now.
my screen wanted to close here yeah, now 2 gig is written here we remain with 1.5 gig see what's gonna happen now one point one get in there I remember I repeat guys uh, you only have to be careful on this line this can cause you trouble here at that part that's the most dangerous part if you don't get it right uh, things can be so bad for you but it's a very very easy process One point five. Uh, yeah, now we remain with uh, at least a gig, and I'm not. I'm sure it won't take that much. Uh, one point six. So there's a machine I want to put Windows 10 here. That's the reason why I say I managed. I say let me do a tutorial here on how to do this. And uh, this could help you to to buy, to to get to download your. your Windows 10 free as long as you have internet you don't need to look for disks just use your memory stick and then go install following the steps I've given you here Yeah, guys, yeah, it's 3 gig now. We are remained with only yeah, 500 megabytes, something which is less than a gig. It shouldn't take that longer for us. Yeah, 1.2 guys.
We're getting there, guys. Yes, it's there. So I think we're done. I'm waiting for for what? We're waiting for it to confirm that we danced maybe with some small things. Let's give it some minutes. It's going to 1.6 now. Remember what I told you, these things are compressed stuff. Sometimes it happens like it's bigger than what we think. It was 1.5, you remember? Now it's going to 1.7. It's going to 3.7. I hope it doesn't go more far than to exhaust my memory stick space. Yeah, it stopped on 3.8. That's good. So now it's blinking there. Once it's done, it's going to tell us it's about to finish. It's about to finish. No more blinking. Let's see. You don't take out the memory stick up until. You don't take out the memory stick until when it's gonna give you some. The, 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 it's gonna go to a new line. It should go to a new line. Still finishing. Guys, we have to be a little bit patient. Getting there, it's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah, guys, it's getting there. Getting there. Yes, done. We're done. Thanks, guys, for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, this is how to download your your what? That's the way you download uh, Windows Seven, Windows Windows Ten for free. Then you write it on your memory stick as a bootable CD. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.